y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's Marissa Explains It All. Today I am going through the must-have baby items, in my opinion, from age zero to one. So my son is just about to turn one here shortly, and we are taking a look at some of the things that I feel are essential, like must-have, or really made our lives easier, or things that really got used the longest, or the most, or brought the most enjoyment. So uh, if that sounds interesting to you, stay tuned and I'll be right back. So of course, I'll just caveat this by saying this is all my opinion and this is what worked for our family, but everybody is different. So of course, what works for one kid may not work for all. I just wanted to show you guys what worked for us. There are more things that he actually did like or play with or got enjoyment out of, but I really didn't list everything that he liked or played with. It was mostly just the things that got the most use or that was the most beneficial for us. So just keep that in mind. I didn't list uh, every single thing that he ever played with and enjoyed. He played with lots more toys, but really just wanted to kind of single out a handful of the things that we felt were the best. So. Let's get started. One of the first toys he interacted with was this wooden play gym, and my husband actually made this. He just used some lumber, cut it into four parts, attached to a dowel. I painted the bottom white just to make it a little more decorative, and we actually hung all of these wooden toys that I found on Amazon, and he loved them. At first, he would just watch them, and then as he got a little bit older, he was able to reach up and start grabbing these, and he loved some of these actually have little bells in them, and so he loved the sound that that made. So this is one of his first toys that he loved to play with. Similarly, this is another DIY that we did. This is a Montessori um, mobile called the Gobi Mobile and I made this from the Hapa family Montessori tutorial with uh, just a wooden dowel, some embroidery thread, and some styrofoam balls and this is supposed to help with depth perception and different um, colors, I guess just different the hues of blue and so I went ahead and made this for him and in the beginning he would stare at it and then he would start to play with it by reaching up and grabbing. Next is the Ark Baby Grabber and this was wonderful when he first started learning how to grab items. He was able to get his little hand around this really easily and then when he started mouthing he would put it in his mouth and chew on it of course it became a great teether so I highly recommend that. Next up is Sophie the Giraffe and this is a popular one and I highly recommend it as well. So he loved being able to grab Sophie as soon as he learned to grab items and start teething. He was able to chew on the legs and ears and the fact that she had a squeaker which was just added fun for him so highly recommend her. Next up is this 23 piece wood instrument set and this was amazing. When he was little, he loved to be able to just grab these and explore the different types of sounds that it made from the bells to just the little wooden beads and things. And when he was really little, he was able to just grab this little maraca and his little fists, one of the first things he was able to actually grab. And so this has been something he's played with since he was three months and he still plays with it. So this one has probably been the toy that he has used the longest. Similarly, this Montessori puzzle has been used a lot since he was little. And so I got this on Amazon. He actually already has uh, lost one piece, or I think it's in the car. Um, he's God doesn't really use it as a puzzle so much, um, but he really loves the pieces individually because he can grab them. He'll use it, grab the handle, he'll chew on the wooden edges. Um, he loves to just grab it and crawl with it as he crawls around. He has it in his hands. He loves to um, kind of uh, run it against the wall. He loves the sound that it makes when it scrapes against the wall. And he just loves to um, kind of play with things by taking each one and slapping it against the table or any other surface. So he's really experimented with the sound that that makes. So definitely love this one. Next up is the Object Permanence Box, another classic Montessori toy that he really got the hang of pretty early on. I want to say six or so months, seven months and you just put the ball in and it drops down. And he loved doing this over and over and he still plays with it. So he's, done, he's played with this consistently for months, which I was very surprised. We taught him to just kind of tap the top to get his attention and then drop it in and he still does it. Next are Duplos, and so these are just large Legos that are child safe, of course, not in little tiny pieces. Um, he loves these. These are introduced a little bit later, maybe at eight months, and he can kind of do some basic building at this point. Next is the Pickler Triangle Set, and I thought this was a great find. Um, it is a triangle and an arc set, and it has a third piece, which is a rock wall that he's still a little young for. I introduced this fairly early on uh, when he was showing interest in climbing, but I think he will certainly grow into this as he becomes more of a toddler, um, but he does love to kind of climb the first rungs now. Next is anything tech. So we love tech and so does he. So he loves the remote. This is a realistic looking children's remote and makes noise. Every button makes a different noise. And then we gave him an old iPod touch that he has just for himself. He's so spoiled. <laughs> so he put his picture in the background because he loves looking at that. And then we put it in airplane mode so he can play with the apps without activating anything. And that's his little toy. And then more recently as he got older, um, he's got this tablet from Leapfrog. 
Next are containers, and this is funny because I actually use these containers to organize his toys and put things in, but he uses them, but he takes the toys out and loves the containers just by themselves. And so he'll tap them on the surfaces. He will still put things in them like little balls or toys, and he'll just kind of crawl around with them. He will sometimes stack them, and he just loves to use these containers. And so he'll just, it's perfect, like, you know, width for his hand to grab and he can crawl around and just use these. So it's just too funny. They always love the thing the toy comes in. Next is another cheap um, kind of DIY. This is a formula can that I wrapped with some um, contact paper, wood grain contact paper, and some ping pong ball from the Dollar Tree. And he loves the sound. So he loves that he can put stuff in there and he can shake them all around. It demonstrates a skill called posting, um, just putting items in um, to another container. So loves it. First in this category is the Baby Brezza Formula Maker Pro Advanced, and this was amazing for those that are doing formula. Um, it was a life changer for us. Uh, it holds the water in the back reservoir, and then in the front it holds the formula in the top canister, and it mixes it just kind of like a Keurig. You're able to press a button, and it dispenses at the right temperature, the right amount, and there's no heating and mixing or anything like that. It's all done. And similarly is the um, bottle sanitizer. So this is the Baby Brezza brand. It holds six bottles, um, but there is a kind that holds eight as well. And it holds all the little pieces and parts for Dr. Brown's, which is what we use, but it holds um, almost any bottle, I think. And I also use it for the sippy cup water cup kind of cop tops to sanitize those every day. So wonderful, wonderful tools. Next is this little food prep um, tray and I got this from Amazon because I do some meal prep for him and I'm able to use these little containers that show um, just the measurements for each thing and, and they have little lids that are um, fairly tight and have a, they, a little nozzle for liquids if you're storing liquids and I just use um, these to prep food for him for a few days. It holds a few days worth of food and I love it. I think they're great. I just kind of mix and match and dock it back in the fridge. Next up is this popsicle maker. So this was a really big hit in the summer. I would actually take and um, just blend up organic strawberries or blueberries or any kind of fruit and uh, put these into each of the wells. Of course, it does have um, four popsicles, but I just brought out one, for example. I would stick that in there and freeze it. And then once they, uh, fro it's frozen, pull it out. And it's the perfect size for baby to have a popsicle and they can grab the little handle. Next is a mini crock pot. So I was tired of bringing out my large crock pot just to prep his little food. So I got a one and a half quart tiny crock pot, just enough for him so I can just maybe do one chicken breast or some vegetables. And he has his own meal prep all in one little crock pot separate from anything else that I'm making, which was perfect. Next are these silicone bibs, and I love these. These are popular, I'm sure, but um, they are adjustable and they're made of silicone, so they're really easy to uh, and soft to kind of put on. They have this pocket to catch any food that he drops, which is awesome, because he does drop a lot. And of course, they are wipeable, and I put them in the dishwasher to sanitize, so definitely an improvement over cloth bibs. Next is this Juvie Walker, and I actually put this in the eating category because while he does have a booster seat that he could eat at the table, we often eat in the family room, and so he eats in the walker. So he's never actually used the walker for walking. He actually can walk independently, but he does use it to eat. And so we sit him in here and we'll um, give him some food. This tray does come up and it's really large, which is amazing. And we can wipe it clean and we actually dishwash it and then put it back and it clicks in place. So really, really nice to have this. And this washes as well. This liner will come out as food is dropped. And then I do have a splat mat underneath just to catch any food bits. So I put this in the food category for us. First up is the Snoo Bassinet, and this was a game changer. We did not have like sleep until this came along. So it is expensive to buy, but you can rent it, which is what we did for a few months. And he loved it. It was the only way he would actually sleep. This is what he looks like in it, and it was great. If you can uh, read all about it on their website, what it does, but it was a fantastic invention for us to be able to actually get sleep in those first few months. And so it would actually rock him for us and, um, and help, and we can control it from an app. Next is a hatch uh, rest sound machine and the hatch mini. And so we do use the full hatch at night. It has a fully programmable and customizable set of sounds and lights and colors, and it has routines that you can program. 
and uh, we love that. It has a really nice sound quality to it and we use the mini for traveling or for when he goes to Nana's house. Next are sleep sacks in general. This is a Burt's Bee sleep sack but we have used Halo as well. Um, Halo of course has the Velcro that Velcros over their arms when they're little to help swaddle them and as he got older we switched to the kind that did not have the Velcro. No swaddle of course but uh, it does help keep him secure and warm all night. It's just a wearable blanket at this point. Next is an amazing invention and it is the door slide. So you can buy these. I actually made this one um, out of a couple pieces of flannel with just a little quilt batting in between and some uh, elastic that was fitted fairly tight to the doorknob so it helps uh, muffle the sound of that latch. So as you're going to put baby down, you're able to just slide the door noiselessly closed. It's very, it's like you don't even hear it um, versus the really loud like lat click that it makes or if you were to kind of bang the door on accident. First in this category is, is controversial and it is the wipe warmer. I think this is a must have because my baby was born in January and it is cold and these little wipes are so cold on a warm little region so I think this is a must have. It show, has a little window that you can see the number of wipes that remain and a little night light on it so I recommend this one by Hiccupop again on Amazon but I know this is not a must have for everyone. Next up are these Oogie Bear nose and ear picks. So I thought these were great for, again, you know, earwax and uh, has a little safety uh, protector so it doesn't go too deep in their ear. I couldn't get my camera to focus, but it has a loop and a scoop just right for picking earwax and boogies. Next is baby proofing. And so as he started walking and kind of falling on things, and it's very, very soft. It attaches with some 3M tape, and it was a really great addition. You don't, you don't really see it much. It kind of blends into the coffee table. We did it on every surface to make sure he was protected against the wrought iron. And we did it also on his toy cabinet. You can see here, it's just a regular cube organizer, but it had like little sharp edges. And so he kept kind of scraping and hitting his head on it. So we put those there as well. In that same vein is this um, little backpack and these knee pads. So the knee pads are helpful for protecting against um, rough floors. They're just like sock material. We slide them on his little knees to help prevent little calluses from rough floors. And then this I love. When he first started walking, he was falling a lot and it is a backpack that protects their little head. You just um, make them wear it while they're playing and they don't really notice too much. And then if they happen to fall um, on the floor, they don't hit their head, they hit this nice soft cushion. So definitely an MVP in my book. I loved this. And lastly, our child protection locks for cabinets. And so these were uh, really great. I have the magnetic kind and this was the brand that I got from Amazon. And I installed these very easily just with some tape. You just peel and stick these, no hardware required. And you can disable the latch if you so desire. Um, so if you don't mind them getting in um, like a Tupperware cabinet or something, if you let them play in that, you can disable the latch and let them open it. But if you engage the latch and keep it engaged, uh, then it will be closed until you use the magnet to open it. And we just store the magnet up above where he cannot reach it, of course. So that is everything. Hopefully that was useful. Let me know if your kids have tried some of these or if you have any questions. And of course, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. I'll see you for the next video. Bye guys.